It has been a half of a century since the Bucks won the NBA championship. Lance Allen talked to a team legend looking back at some of those memorable moments from the team's only title run. On April 30th, it's the anniversary of the one and only NBA title that the Bucks have won. John McLaughlin has some hilarious stories, including waiting for beat writers after they won the title. The Journal and Sentinel writers, Rel Boucher and Bob Wolf, who covered us, traveled with us. We were on commercial airlines. So the next day, we're on the bus, and we're waiting on Boucher and Wolf. So Bob Wolf had, had a prosthetic arm. We couldn't find Bob's arm. <laughs> And, and Boucher, we couldn't find his shoes. They couldn't find his shoes. So he ended up with Wolf's shoes, and we found Bob's arm under the bed. This sounds and like finally a comedy got on skit, John. This sounds like a comedy. Are you sure this isn't a comedy? True story. It's a title sadly somewhat forgotten. The final game, the first half has been lost by the NBA. We have no trophies. We have nothing recognizing the championship. I'm told they don't even know where the trophy is for the team is that year. I'm told it's lost. I don't know if that's true. I don't know where it would be. It should be on display. Mm -hmm. When I saw the Brewers have a parade in 82, and I love that Brewer team, and mm -hmm. a lot of those guys are my buddies, mm -hmm. they came in second. Mm -hmm. We won it and had no parade. That's when it hit me. And, uh, and, but we had a team party, and, and that was it, Lance. And then everybody went like that, and wow. some of us never saw each other again. For more on the Bucks' 50th diamond anniversary of their lone championship, please go to tmj4.com slash sports. More great stories in their own words from John McLaughlin, Eddie Desette, Bobby Dandridge, and more. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.